Hello everyone and welcome to Alyssa's Precious Hair Bows. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a one inch bottle cap using a GIMP. Um, <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is open your GIMP file and I already have mine open. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to file new and you want to set your width at 700 and your height at 500. Then you want to go to Advanced Options, and on the X resolution and the Y resolution, you want 300 by 300 um, PDI. And then you're going to hit OK. Mine's all set and ready to go. So then you get this thing. You can leave it like that, or you can open it wide. It'll still do the difference, but we'll just do it like that. Next, you want to go to um, File and Open and you want to select your image and I'm gonna go with this one okay then it opens in the background I'm so sorry okay try to zoom in and zoom out so <laughs> okay well I'm gonna open this very wide and I'm gonna go to the top and go to image we go to scale image and you want see how the X resolution and the Y resolution are at 100 you want to put it at 3 sorry 300 hit uh, enter and both become 300 you want to scale then you want to go to your little uh, Eclipse tool click on it and you want to make a big ol you just want to make a circle but you want to get the whole image in the circle and there you go you got your circle <clears throat> next thing you want to go is you want to go to that little tool right there and it is called the scale tool you want to click on it click in the picture and you want to um, this is hard for me. Uh, I don't know why it always does that. But you want to set it at 120 by 120. And you want to hit scale. And you get that little circle. Then you want to go to that little tool, which is like a cross sign. It is called the move tool. You want to click on the picture, and then you want to go to edit and cut. So now you don't have nothing there. You want to minimize that, and you're back to your little screen here. And then you just go to, you can either go to edit and paste, and it'll pop there, and just put it there. Or you can right click, go to edit, and go, oh, I'm sorry, go to edit, and go to paste, and it'll paste right on top of it, and you just move it down, or to the side, wherever you want to put it. I like to put mine going down, and you want to keep doing that um, as many times as you want. You can even do different pictures. Um, now every time you open a new picture, we'll do it again, go to File, Open, I'll bring you up to your little screen here, oh, I'm sorry about that, um, we'll do, we'll do this one. Now, it'll always open behind, so what you want to do here, is you want to go back to Image, scale and you want to hit 300 enter so you can get 300 PDI you want to scale every time you open a new picture you have to go and do that because if not it won't it won't um, you won't get the 300 PDI and you just want to make your circle
And then again, you want to go to the skeletal. <clears throat> and you want, not again. You want to one twenty. So sorry, it's like foggy. I am new to doing something like this, so please bear with me. Um, by one twenty, and you scale, and you get your circle, and you go to the plus sign, you click on the picture, go to edit and cut then you go back to your page here go anywhere go to edit and paste and there you have and there you have your images um they look hot pink and i'm sorry about the lighting it's just i'm trying to use outside light and it's kind of dim outside um anyways but Um, yeah, that's how you make your one inch bottle caps. What you want to do next is when you want to save it, don't file and save, go to export. And, uh, mine's already set to JPEG, but you want to go, you want to go to select file type by extension. You want to click on... Well, I guess I passed it. JPEG image, and it'll put it up there. It'll put it. So sorry, it's very. It'll put it up there if you can see it. Uh, it says JPEG. I'm so sorry that it's very blurry. My zoom is kind of messed up. Um, and I'm using my cell phone camera, so. Anyway, after that, you want to hit export, and it'll bring you to this little uh, box that says export image as JPEG, and it's at 90, but I always put mine at 100, and then you hit export, and it'll export it into um, JPEG into your documents or wherever you want to put it at. I'm going to hit cancel because I'm not done with this image, but yeah, that's how you make your one inch bottle caps. And um, I hope you like the tutorial. If you need help with anything, please let me know and I will do my best to make a tutorial. Thank you for watching and uh, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.